Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Owl YouTube channel and it's the 1st of July which means it is time for a new sheet load of cards. I hope you'll stick around, see this month's sketch, the first set I made and find out how you can download the file for free. Thank you so much for stopping by. If this is your first time to my channel and you would like to download the printable for free, make sure to click on that subscribe button below and tap on that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. If you're new to my channel or new to my sheet load of cards videos, let me tell you a little bit about it. Each month I stop by with a free two-page printable for my subscribers that tells you how to get a sheet load of cards with just a little bit of pattern paper and cardstock. A sheet load is anywhere from 6 to 12 cards each month. On the first page, I provide you with the sketch, tell you what supplies you'll need, how many cards you're going to get from this month, and if you only want to make a single card, I also provide those dimensions. On a normal month where there's not a fun fold or extra directions that I need to give, I will also usually include alternate ideas or other ways to use the sketch here. For instance, rotating it or changing the shape of the sentiment tag. And then on the second page, I give you all of the cutting diagrams. But for July, I do have some extra special instructions. Speaking of those, if you're going to get started on this month's sheet load early, make sure to read these directions and look at this diagram very carefully. In tomorrow's process video, I will give you more specifics about that and show you how to do it if you need some help. Let's go ahead and talk about some specifics for the July 2020 sheet load. Like I mentioned earlier, there are some special cutting and folding guidelines, and that is because this month's card, this floral pattern paper is actually on the inside of the card, so you have to make a special cut here on the front of the card so you can see that. I do try to give you specifics down here, but just keep that in mind if you go to make these. Also this month, I have some circular lines here behind the sentiment tag, and that is just a suggested, maybe you want to put a thread nest or something behind there. Later I'll show you what I did for that. Also a little different this month is that all of the card stocks are together. Normally I would have matting card stocks separate from the card base card stock. But because you're going to be using some of the card base cardstock for your sentiment, I did just group those all together. You're going to get eight cards this month if you follow the cutting instructions. And then once again, here are the dimensions for a single card. And as always, if you're going to share your cards online or show us your sheet load, I do have the hashtags up here that I would love for you to use if you make a YouTube video or share on Instagram. I love to see what you make and I would love for you to use those. Here on the second page, I give you a little look at what each of the card bases should look like after it's cut and folded correctly. And then down here again, I try to talk a little bit about how your CS3 is going to be your card base and your sentiment card stock. You're going to cut your two pieces of pattern paper per the instructions here, and then you have three more pieces of card stock to cut. Now you can always adjust CS1 to fit your sentiment so you can make this longer because you definitely have plenty of room this month. Don't forget that I will be back tomorrow with the full process video and that is also when my collaborators share their videos. I have collaborators here on YouTube, on Instagram, and on blogs. It's always great to see what different creators do with the same sketch so I hope that you'll stop back by for that. Before we take a look at the cards, I did want to show you the main products that I use for this month's cards. First of all, my pattern paper came from the Santa Fe Garden Hot Buy Pad from Michaels. And for my sentiment and images this month, I use this adorable stamp from Simon Says Stamp. Now unfortunately, this stamp is no longer available for sale, but you can find other cute cactus stamps online if you like the look of this. 
I recently won a giveaway from Christina Werner where she sent out some goodie boxes and this was part of it. And as soon as I saw it, I knew that I had to pair it with this recent paper pad I bought. Are you ready to see this month's cards? I know that I probably say it every month, but I think this might be my favorite sheet load. I just love the way that you see the inside from the front, and it's just a little bit of a different fold. I did mention before that little embellishment idea I gave on the sketch, and I'm not sure if you could tell from the little video where I showed you the cards, but what I did is I put a vellum die cut. It almost looks like a string nest behind that sentiment. That way you can still see some of the pattern paper behind it, but it adds a little extra texture. If you've been around my channel very long, you know that I don't usually do a whole lot of coloring of images, but I will tell you that I had a super fun time doing the coloring and the shading for these cards. The images were small and they didn't take a lot of colors. I ended up using my Arteza Everblend art markers for these cards. I had a great time. They made this coloring easy, and I hope to be using these a lot more in the future. And now let me tell you how you can download the file for free. Like I've mentioned before, I do ask that you're a subscriber to my channel. Now we just go on the honor system here. I'm not gonna make you email me for a password or email me any proof, but please, if you're gonna click on the download, please make sure that you are subscribed. It's that little button right below this video. It's super quick and it's free for you to do. All the way at the bottom of my description box is a link to a PDF file. All you have to do is click on that. You can open it and view it on screen or you can download and print it. That is up to you. Speaking of printing, I do have mine printed in color today, but if you don't have a color printer, no big deal. Go ahead and print it out in black and white and it will work just fine for you. If you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comment section below and I'll get back to you just as soon as I can. I'm excited to share with you tomorrow how I made these cards. I hope you'll stop back by. Until then, I hope you're having a crafty day. Bye-bye.